If you were taught to do this, what's that going to do? He's going to work his tail off. Because you know what? I'm going to get tired. And he's going to start crawling, and I'm just going to keep pushing on his ankle until I break it. Okay? Also, if I'm right here on top of him, how much area are we covering? Not much at all, right? So, there's a difference between an anchored search, which is what that is, and being anchored to a wall, and being oriented, okay? You can orient yourself to the room by getting that good layout when you lay low, all right? So, instead of crawling on hands and knees, go ahead and pop down again on your hands and knees. If he finds a hole, where's he going? Right? He's going head first into the hole, all right? Not only that, but if something's going on up here, it starts getting hotter, he starts getting rollover, he starts pushing down, what's he have to do to look up? Either sit up or he's got to do this number where he, he contorts his, his body. You got to think he's got an air pack on, everything like that. It's a lot of weight to be shifting just to look up above you, okay? So, all right, thank you. Tripod search, leg out in front, settle your weight back in your heel. This leg works as a probe, okay? It feels out in front of you for any soft spots in the floor. And you can sit here with your tool. You sit here, I usually like to carry mine in the, in the hand that the leg's up, okay? If I need to, I can hit it against the wall and I can sweep with this hand. If I come in, I can sweep and just scoop. I sound as I go, okay? I can move quicker. I can move a little bit more safer. If I find a hole, all my weight's on my back and I'm coming back away from the hole. So that'll be the first thing we work on uh, in your group of four. 